at a time when the world is united against barbaric Islamic terrorism. The Palestinian Liberation Organization, the government of the Palestinian people, has decided to use the deadly terrorist attacks in France to spread conspiracy theories that those who are responsible for the attacks do not belong to ISIS. Rather, they belong to a sinister group of people. Can you guess which ones? That's right, it's the Jews. In the last three days, official PLO Facebook pages and spokespeople have been pushing forward theories and allegations that it is Israel who is behind the attacks. Adnan al-Damari, the spokesperson for the PLO security forces, wrote the following on PLO official Facebook pages. From Beirut to Paris, terror and explosions, two beautiful and advanced cities, two cities that arouse admiration with their positions regarding Palestine. What is this hatred which attacks beauty and principles and declares terror against them? Does the terror in Beirut and Paris wear masks like those who were in the Al-Halai hospital in Hebron yesterday? He is referring to the hospital in Hebron, which Israeli special forces entered on November 12 in order to arrest a Palestinian terrorist. But the conspiracy theory does not just stop there. Palestinian National Council member, the legislative body of the PLO, Bassam Abu Sharif, also blamed Israel as the reason for the attacks in Paris. In an interview with the independent Palestinian news agency, he stated that the attacks are US and Western leaders' own fault because they have applied different criteria to terrorists and do not take a stance against Israel and the Zionists. But it wasn't only statements by hate-filled officials that pushed forward a repugnant Palestinian agenda. On November 16th, three days after the Paris massacre, the PLO's Fatah movement's official Facebook page released two cartoons. One shows Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu with an ISIS terrorist on top of the Eiffel Tower. Netanyahu is pictured helping the ISIS terrorist aim his gun. Another cartoon shows two matches in a matchbox, labeled terrorism. The head of one of the matches is depicted as an ISIS terrorist. The second match has the head of a Jew. But the incitement against Jews in Israel in the shadow of the Paris attack doesn't just end with the Palestinian Authority and its leaders. Sweden's Foreign Minister, Margaret Wallström, was asked the following question on Swedish television. How worried are you about the radicalization of young people in Sweden? who are fighting for ISIS. She responded by saying, Obviously, we have reasons to be worried, not just in Sweden, but across the world, because there are so many that are being radicalized. Here, once again, we are brought back to situations like the one in the Middle East. We're not least, the Palestinians see that there isn't a future. We must either accept desperate situation or resort to violence. Considering that Sweden is embroiled in its own storm of Islamic fundamentalist violence, Excusing terrorism and killing of innocent people in Paris and Israel is simply deplorable. The Palestinian Liberation Organization must be condemned for its scandalous use of the Paris tragedy to promote its daily incitement against Israel to Palestinians and the rest of the world. I find it very ironic that an organization that has virtually created the blueprint for terrorism and terror attacks blames the one democratic Western nation that has been at the forefront of battling the barbaric movements of Islamic terrorism. For the Rebel Media, I'm Miguel Hecht.